My vacation's over. It's done. I got no time. Tomorrow, back to the normal everyday life of of me. Ugh. I need another vacation. I need like a whole month. It'd be great. So I got studios coming along better. So it's good. Not where I would like it to be, but hey, it is what it is. And didn't have any, no stream yesterday. Got caught up in family stuff, but you would know that if you were on my Discord. So if you're wondering what was going on, you should have been joined. You should have been on the Discord. You should have been there. Alma, I love Alma. Mm, it sure is chilly out there. It's kind of refreshing. The hobo out there seemed like a nice guy. Billy Vine? Yeah, he's a cool guy. Very respectful. Apparently got into some legal trouble and that's why he's like that. Man, that is loud in my ear. There we go. Really? He could also just be a very nice crackhead though. I have a cousin that lives like a hobo, actually. Really? It's a bit complicated, though. Problem is, his family has tried to get him to live with him, but his pride won't let him accept their help. He'd rather live on the streets for some reason. You can't tell people... Eh. You can't tell some people, sadly. Why did he become a hobo in the first place? Bad investments and debts. Bank evicted him from his house. Oh. It's a serious problem because he has epileptic attacks but refused to take his medication. Why? Why would you do that? Yeah, it seems rather irresponsible. Good guy. Take your meds. Did therefore the dare to help. I just don't get what's up with him. Dorothy, honey, some service here. I can't do that. Scree, I can't scream in here. Yeah, I can't. I can't wait till I can actually like be loud. Like push the mic out of the way. Be nice and loud and get these things going. I'm here, don't scream. If you want drinks or if you want company, I'm here for ya. And get this blippy boop. I can't ignore I can't ignore this blippy. And you can't tell me what to do. Hmm. Why are you two hanging at the back of the bar? What kind of stuff were you doing? Just talking. Is that what they call it these days? What do you want? Something so uh something soft, something sweet. Uh no alcohol, please. Wouldn't it be the same if you just grabbed soda from a vending machine? But I like you! I love Dorothy. Do you just like my presence so much? Sweet and non-alcoholic, you say. Alright. It has to be sweet, something soft. Sweet, girly, happy. Sweet, light, and fruity drink. It's as girly as it gets. Oh, hell yeah. What else is there? What, what, what else is there? A sparkle star? I think I made one of those. Nah. I don't want to mess with her skin. Nah. I made mean, those. Yeah, no, nah, this is a sparkle rush. There you go. Two all the hides. A powder. And th th that's it. Boink. Sugar Rush! 
Here, like you asked. See? You don't get this kind of treatment from vending machines. Yeah, I know, there's, they're, they're, they're rude, actually. You try to give money, sometimes you just take your money, and you just, you tell them what you want, and like, no, can't do that. Even if you see it in there, even if you see what you want behind the glass, it's like, nope. I, I can't give you that drink, sir. You're, uh... Yeah, I don't think you're, I don't think you qualify to be able to, uh, purchase this beverage, but might I interest you in another option? And it's like, no. And then you try to push the button for, like, give my money back. And it's like, no, sir, sir, uh, you paid for a drink. You're gonna have to get a drink. I cannot just simply give you your money back. If you want money, uh, you can give me more, and I might be able to facilitate change. But, uh, what will you like to have that I that you should be able to have? Evil. Unless you're Lawrence. But he has this weird idea that good service is the same as selling lukewarm can of soda. Lawrence. A friend of mine. He's a vending machine. Oh. Oh, about how impolite of me. Hmm? I'm lo <laughs> I'm love <clears throat> I'm lovely and my name's Dorothy. Dorothy Hayes. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Alma. The pleasure's mine. Dorothy, you say? Yep. Why? Oh, nothing. I guess I've heard about you before. Really? What kind of stuff? Tell me, tell me. Mostly about your um Luckiness. And here I was thinking it was because I'm a sex worker. <laughs> you can always count on Dorothy. So much for trying to be subtle. Hey, I take pride in my job. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. Isn't it dangerous? I know how to take care of myself, thank you very much. Where do you work, Alma? I'm a hacker. Really? A full-fledged hacker? Not the kind that sees a computer logged into some account and says, Yep, uh, that's hacking, right? No, of course not. I've always been curious about, be about how being a hacker works. Do you just start typing really fast while waiting for something to happen? No. I can explain, but I don't know if you'll get it. We won't know until you try, right? Last time I said that I had to jam- wait, what the heck? Okay. Last time I said that I had to jam the plastic replica of a halogen light bulb down a man's ass. Oh. Oh. No. It was a success. <clears throat> okay then. Let me try to explain in general how it works. Yeah, I don't need I don't need to know what people are into when it comes to shoving a a light bulb of all things up one's uh pooper. Ugh. I oh, know. Dorothy! You are a charmer. Glad that you take pride in your work. I don't need to know that detail. I don't need to know about that one. Let's have to retrieve information from a company's database. Alright. First, to do some research on the target. OS, surface, how the information is stored and all that. There have been a couple of occasions where I had to go in blind, but they're, at, they're the exception rather than the rule. First I six, six, That's what I do. First I secure things on my, from my side. 
I start working behind proxies, websites, and through other more vulnerable computers I find, find on my way. Uh huh. After that, I start testing the networks. I go through the basic protocols, try known exploits as long as they don't trigger the, any alarm. Once I've tested, <clears throat> once I've tested the ground, the fun starts. I go through all the security protocols and look to bypass them. Sometimes I have to, sometimes I have to look deeper into the code for the password itself. I, I see. Then, when I'm finally in, I go in and retrieve the user privileges. After that, I go and try to become a super user and get what I need. H how do you do that? Well, there are a couple of ways. I can use a pre-made program to hack into an already existing account. I can use info someone already gave me. But the usual way is using a buffer overflow. B-b-buff? What happens next? What happens next? Dorothy, you doing okay? You're you're really sh you're really shaking. You're shaking like my blurp my 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 blips over here. All right, let's see if we can get Dor. Let's see if we can get Dorothy to just kind of calm down, cause she's my friend like crazy. Sequel. Hey, what's up, dude? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I I, I had to. Uh, uh, go bring a, a, a cat to a shelter. It was living on my head for the longest time, and uh, I just realized that it's like, oh, I can't take care of you. You need to go somewhere. So I took care of the cat. But mm, a little too short for my taste. I don't think I'll ever. I don't think I'll ever get this short again. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing pretty good, thanks. What about you? What's up? What's shaking bacon? I... <clears throat> I... create a back door in the system before leaving and covering my tracks. Yeah. I... I... can't... I can't handle it anymore! Oh, what? Elma, hack me! Hack me like you've never hacked anything before! Um, excuse me? Dorothy, are you okay? Uh, uh. Make my buffer overflow, create a back door in me, escalate your user privileges, find flaws in my security! Um, uh. S -s -s Sorry, I got carried away. Oh good, I'm glad you're doing well, dude. Dorothy's uh, a little special right now. <laughs> no shit, what hap- what happened? Have you seen those movies or books where a couple does something like paint a picture or cook? But they make it sound like they're having sex instead? Suggestive scenes, yeah? Well, that whole thing was kind of like that for me. Really? Okay, I got it. I see. I guess humans don't really get it because their minds don't upload to networks or anything. But trust me, if you recorded yourself giving a really detailed explanation in, re in a really sexy voice, You'd make millions! Horny little um, are, unex are an unexploited market. Excuse me? Okay. Thanks for the intel, Dorothy. Not much. Family, friend, and cousin came over and went to Kohl's in New York to buy a few things, but it's so expensive compared to Kohl's in New Jersey. Ah. Gotcha. Yeah, stuff up here. Like, I'm not in New York, I'm in Mass. What stuff? 
going up in the States, it's too pricey. It sucks. No, my drink is out. No, oh, man. This is actually pretty good. Oh well. Next drink! I passed through New Jersey, it's pretty good. I like, I like some of the scenery there for when I pass through to visit some, some of my friends. Actually, where is... Is... wait, wait, wait. No, I, w I actually went there for... a week? I've passed... I've driven by... And... yeah, hold on. I need Google. Google! Google, help me! Let's see... Ah, it's in Pennsylvania. That's where I went through, yeah. I guess I'm like... Google, give me a map! Now zoom out! Okay, so it wasn't that time. The other time I had to... was when I was... we were going through... Down into North Carolina. Was one of my friends lives in Philly, but she's like on the border, and that was fun. Vis visiting her for, for 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 the week. I haven't talked to her in a long time. Also played Blair Witch yesterday. Oh, how was that? I just saw that someone made a is doing like a a game that is just like Phasmophobia, except it's very buggy, and it deals with and one of the mechanics is exorcism. So I'm like, ah, that's that's a very huge maybe maybe. Maybe I'll take a look when you're more developed and people don't really say it's buggy as hell. I was like, because I love me phasmophobia. I love me spooky games. But I don't like bugs. Some features are just best left undeveloped. So it's good. Well, part of me was nervous when I was playing it, especially on stream. That's the magic of stream. It's alive. And you're so distracted with the audience and doing any kind of interactions that it keeps you up, up on your toes. Like, oh, I'm not focused. I'm not. Men uh, my mental state is not a fortified iron wall. And you get spooked and everybody has a good laugh. So it's... it's Hey, I see you, Mr. Bug. I'll slap you if you come near me. Oh, just flew by. But it's harmless. I will slap it. I see. <laughs> oh, looks like my ride is here. Your ride? Yep. My brother-in-law came to look for me. Is it alright to ask him to ask that from him? It's okay. I've <clears throat> I've known him since preschool. It just so happened that he got married to my sister. Hey Dorothy, you need a ride? Can you drop me by Third Street? Sure, it's on the way. Will you be hacking her on the way to Third Street? Yay! I'll take you. I'll take your offer then. Bye, honey. Later, Jill. Take care. The street seems noisy. Oh, a client. Hello. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get? Oh, you have a question mark on your forehead, sir. Or 
I, is that- I, I hope that's a tattoo, because if that's your hair... How the f- How do you do that? Also, why is there no signal on my TV? Damn it. As such a small yet comfortable place. <laughs> Truly an oasis of spiritual drinks in the midst of the suburban desert. A place where the lost and corrupt souls can gather to forget their troubles for a while. A nest where everyone from the most pathetic scum to the vilest trash junkie can just sit to kill their insides. Truly, a real persona non grata. That's Latin for mysterious place, by the way. I'm so smart and philosophical. Alright, we got ourselves a persona non grata here. Oh boy. What will we have then? 17. Excuse me? It said 17. 7 plus teen. What does that even mean? I'm sorry. Would you want me to draw, get a piece of paper and write it down for you? Is that what you need, sir? Because that's not a drink on the menu of drinks, nor the cost of anything, nor anything I can offer you, and I'm definitely not 17 either. What does that mean? What does it mean to you? Just to be sure. 17 is about the drink you want, right? Only if you want it to be. No! 17? Grandpa Booze? A Spice Mulan? What? Uh, the hell? Okay, so let's see what we got from this guy. This guy is... Cla he's a He's snooty. This guy is a snooty fellow. He's trying to be avant-garde. So I'm thinking either wants a Bleeding Jane or Frothy Water. It's definitely not a beer. No, 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 no. Not cla classic. Actually, maybe classic. Hmm. No, it's play. No, 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 no. I want type. Give me classy. Could it be a bad touch? Actually, that might just fit. Cause it won't be a French weaver. That just that you, you just have that when you want to get drunk. Cobalt velvet. Ooh. Well, let's see. That's also a good candidate. On the rocks, it's like champagne served in a... Actually, that might be the best one. But it's not... Would it be 17? Ah. No, definitely not that. No. No. A Brantini classy. 8 out of 10 smug assholes. What's the... Hmm. I'm thinking bad. I'm gonna go with a uh, uh, bad touch. Ah, oh, this guy. Oh, I really hope this one works. And it's on the rocks. Mix it up. Oh, will this be the first time I fail a drink? Because I don't know anything. How is this seven, uh, 17? It isn't. You said 17 would only be related to your drink if I thought it was. And I think this it, it isn't. Oh, you subverted my expectations by taking me literally. 
Sneaky. Oh. Oh, you're trying to get in my noodle, I see. Well, good job. And what brings you here, mister? I am Armandio. Vir Virgilio Armandio. I missed, I missed you, bug. I will get you next time. Kenshi, get that bug. You get that. Kenshi's there uh, on my bed and he's hunting down the bug that's kind of flying around. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's right, Kenshi. See? I introduced myself using the Asian order because that's a lot more polite. Right. And I came here looking for an otherworldly experience. I was passing by and saw this place called Valhalla. I want to see the souls of resting warriors, the wounded spirits of noble souls. The golden hall full of never-ending banquets. The lively Valkyries looking over them. We have some arcade machines on the corner. No, no, no. You're taking me too literally. You see, I'm being poetic. I'm giving a mystical air to the mundane affair. I wanted to see drunk people. I wanted to see waitresses and food. I wanted to see the bar in all of its decadent glory. Well, you're out of luck. Today's been quite the slow day. Not that I'm very surprised, given how things have been in these streets, though. Humans are a nasty bunch, and that much is true. Making a ruckus, coming at each other. But that's to be expected from the only... The, <clears throat> from the only mammal to kill its own. I'm no zoologist, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Oh yeah? And then give me an example, not zoologist bartender. Um, apes. Apes do that all the time. Different troops of apes. If you're not a member of a troop, guess what? Any troop comes by, you better be able to fend them off. You better be able to stand your ground. Because they gonna get you, they gotta eat you, they'll feed you to their babies. They'll take your babies and feed them to their babies. And you would more than likely do the same to them. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, lions. When a new male lion has, let's say, overthrown a leading male of a, of a pride, if there are any cubs, then those cubs will be dead because they're not his. Ain't no stepdaddy lion ain't gonna take in no step lion cubs. No, 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 no. If they're not related to my blood, he don't want none of it. We don't learn this in school. We learn this from Animal Planet. At least that's where I learned it. Like I said, I don't know exact the, the, ex the I don't know exact details. I just know that isn't right. If memory serves right, once a lion takes over a pride, every cub born from the other lion is killed or something. Hey, that's that's an example. That's the example that I just used. Look at that. <laughs> takes over a pride. You can't take over pride. Pride isn't a tangible thing. A pride is what you call a group of lions. Mr. Non-Zoologist Vir Virgilio Vir 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 uh, Virginia. You need to stop making things up, not Zoologist Bartender. But going back on topic, do you know what the number 17 means? The atomic number of chlorine? No. And Chloe is a name, not a number, you know. 
This guy said that he was rather intelligent. This guy doesn't know much of anything. You're more of a wordsmith than anything else, sir. Being a wordsmith does not equate to intelligence. Or rather, you, sir, fail to not recognize facts. No, you don't seem to really know too many facts, nor do you want you, know, you show any signs of inquiry to what is presented to you for new information, and you're just saying it's a blot out lie rather than saying, oh, that's neat. I might have to look into that and question things. No, you just are like, no, that ain't true. You're just, you're stupid. Shut up. The group, <clears throat> the group of halogens are in the periodic table. Stop making word. Stop making up words like halogens, periodic, and table. Those are disgusting. Okay then, I give up. What do you mean, table? A table is an everyday object found in nearly every household, and especially bars. 17 is us. Huh? Every human has 17 pairs of chromosomes. That is the whole foundation of you and me. It's 23. What is? Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, not 17. Well, they're both primal numbers, so it's the same idea. This guy is such an arrogant idiot. Ugh. Can we can we get back streamer Chan? Can we get her back? This I don't like this guy. And there's no such thing as a primal number. It's prime. And no, it's not the same idea by any stretch of the imagination. Primal. What? Easy there, Mr. Tenchi. Do you want anything else? I'd like a single plum floating in perfume served in a man's hat. Okay. He wants plum floating perfume in a son of a bitch. There you go. And there you go. You get a plum fume. Here. Ha! Huh, you didn't. Wait. You did. Enjoy. I will. I'll drink this, um, perfume. You don't really have to. Yeah, that'd be silly. You win this round, bartender. Hey, bartender. Have you ever thought about death? How? What if we're already dead? Both of us. What? What tells you I even existed before I entered that door? How can you assure me that this reality is real and we are not in fact in heaven or hell all along? What if everything up to this point is just some stupid story written by an unemployed 20-something in this room? I could punch you and make you feel reality. I don't care about any of that, actually. This reality is real for me, and that's all that matters. Such a close-minded way of seeing things. You need to get away from factual facts. Open your mind to things beyond your reach. What? 
Explore my imagination? Have you seen Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared? Do you know what happens when you use your imagination? You don't want to use my imagination. You'll never reach enlightenment if you don't start. I don't think you're one to really talk, sir. Ah, but now that I started. It means the Twilight of the Gods in German, by the way. I don't think so. I'm not gonna believe anything you say, sir. Well, you're on your own, bartender. Enjoy your new world order. Um, what? A couple of nearby cars exploded, it seems. Oh, hell. Let me take a look out the window. Be careful. I see lots of flashes in the distance. Most likely gunshots. Jill, come here a sec. What? About... <clears throat> about 5 giga gigabytes of GBs. Gigabytes? I don't know. About five gigabytes of reports provide proving that several white knight squads have been used to cover. Illegal actions were released to the public by an unknown anarchist group. We're receiving reports of several units going rogue. And using their weapons to hunt down anyone they find on the street. Oh, that's it's it's great. Several counter-terrorism forces from neighboring cities have been dispatched in order to subdue the crazed units after a plea from the Vice President. We're still waiting for a declaration from Zaibatsu Corp CEO on the subject, but until then... Things are ugly in and outside of this bank, it seems. I'd recommend you stay here tonight. It's too dangerous to even think about going outside. What if they break in? They won't. Even then, the bar has quite the security system. And I'll be here protecting you as an added bonus. <sighs> yeah, I guess I'll stay the tonight. Get this please I would boss dinner. I'll get you the spare mattress I have. Do you mind sleeping in my office? No, I guess it's fine. Get to sleep in your office. Good. <sighs> Let's hope everything gets solved by morning. I'll have Zank. I'll have Zank uh, hand on hand just in case. Zank can't. Yeah. The metal bat with nails. There's nothing you can't bash. <laughs> Say, Gil, four. Hope everything's better by tomorrow. We get a three hundred dollar bonus. Wait, I got a mistake. Fuck you. What? <laughs> Seventeen. Fuck you! I'm not gonna count that mistake. That is bullshit. That is the most bullshit of bullshits. Cause really, what drink represents chromosomes? And we are done with mammals. I mean, if anything, that would have been it. <laughs> if anything, that's exactly what it would have been. I missed it. Or maybe I'm supposed to give nothing? Is that an option? Here, here's a brand T. Here's a brand T. Oh, oh, hold on, what? Oh! Hold on, what? Oh! I didn't expect you to be able to deliver it, didn't you know? It, this is right? Um, what? 
I asked you for an impossible order to prove the feebleness of the human condition. No matter what you do, you'll never have all the answers and resources you need. You can make as many drinks as you want, but you would never be able to deliver that ridiculous order. Is getting it wrong the right thing? Two mistakes. Wait, 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 wait. So there is a correct drink? Virginia. The total number of ingredients equals 17. Okay, so we have 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Age. Mix. I don't like the way that looks. Okay, explain. The total of ingredients here add up to 17. Beautiful. The fedora was actually the correct answer. A lot of rent. See, look! How are you supposed to? Oh. Commission, toll payment, toll transfer. Okay, so we get where we you need to save up a lot of fundage here. We got a we got a good amount of days, I think. Six. Rise and shine. <sighs> Good morning. It's 11 a.m. though. That's morning for me on the weekends. And any other day. How's everything outside? Still noisy, but forces have been deployed to take care of most of them at least. How so? Zaibatsu's corpse president is pleading with anyone to stop the rogue white knights. Neighboring city forces were deployed quickly and have subdued most of the opposition. There have also been reports of white knights just freezing, like they were just petrified somehow. You make it sound like some god suddenly decided to put everything in place. Well, I'm glad no bullets were flying in and out of the whole building. Sure, there's still some bad apples out, and it's really not safe yet, but it was the worst last night. There also seemed to be a civilian force lynching by any white light they spot. Not say! So not only are the white knights a problem, regular folks are on the edge too. I wonder if Say's okay. Should we be worried about Gil? That kid knows how to take care of himself. I'm sure that whatever it is that he's doing, he's safe. Dare I even say safer wherever he is in here? I sure hope so. Are we gonna work today? Nah, things are too nasty right now. Let's take the Sunday off. Ooh! Oh, alright. Say, do you want to help me get get to your apartment? You you want to help me get to my place? Actually, yeah, I'd appreciate that. Okay then, let me lock things up and we'll go. We'll grab some something for lunch on the way. Sounds good. <gasps> She's coming over. Fellow cyborg, my and here we are. I look so disinterested or ashamed. Just like, mm. he's like, yeah. Home sweet home. Thanks a lot. Hey boss, wanna hang out for a bit? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Grab a beer, chill out for a bit, mostly to thank you for helping me. Well, I don't have much to do anyway, so yeah, sure. I did tell you you should invite me to your apartment sometime, didn't I? Oh yeah, you did! What worries me a bit is that beer always leads to something else. To more beer? <laughs> I was going to say to one of us going through the Spanish announcer's table. But I think we're safe here. Come on in then. Excuse me. Want one? Oh. Sorry, I don't smoke. Don't mind me though. Smoke if you wanna. Thanks. How come, like, we don't get to see her, like, them in the same room? This is, this is, this is a different display. Say, how is the chilly weather treating you? It gets cold from time to time, but nothing like the... Nothing like the kotatsu and the heater can't fix. Oh, right. Boss. You're not very good with the cold, are you? You know it. You didn't bring your jacket here, either. Yeah, I left that at home when I was going to the bar yesterday. It wasn't that cold and I didn't expect to spend the night at the bar. Would you like a sweater or something? Oh, don't mind me. I insist. I had this hoodie from some time ago and it was too big for me. Why buy it then? It was dirt cheap! Right. Wait. Where did you get this one? Don't know. Some flea market ages ago? Why? Nothing. Mr. Tenchi. Leaping everywhere. You gonna get the bug? Is there a bug? Get him. Get the bug. What's up, Kenny? He's gonna go get a bug. I love seeing them two play. It's, it's just like the one I had many years ago. What happened to it? Too much use? It just... ripped. I see. You can keep it if you want. I'd never use it anyway. Um, we'll see. Come to think of it, how old, how old are you, boss? I'm eternally 17. Fair enough. 17 plus how much? 17 plus, I'd have to cut your tongue if you knew. Alright. Let me go change into something more comfortable. Take your time. Um. Four! I knew four was our cat. Our cat talks to us. Uh. No. <laughs> Say, Jill, there's a blue-eyed mass of black fur glaring in my general direction. Hmm? Oh, that's just four. He's just aware of any new visitors. Cats will be cats, I guess. He'll he'll warm up. He'll warm up quick, quickly. I, why can't I say quickly? He'll warm up quickly, though. Just give him time. He's unusual looking. Um, he's. The blue eyes on a black cat? They usually have green. Yeah, weird, huh? At first I thought they were like that because he was small, but they never changed. Do you have any pets, boss? Back at home, we had a bear. Ah, I see. Uh, uh, what? Good old Bosco. He kept intruders away better than any dog. Right. I don't think so. I I honestly I don't believe that one. Hmm. This picture here isn't something you see every day. What is going on here? Who are these people? Is that Jill? 
What? Me taking a sappy pic? No, a framed picture on printed paper. It's so vintage. Who are these? Uh, that's... Um... The one on the right is Lenore, my ex-girlfriend. The one on the left is Gabriel, her sister. Ah. Ah. Knew it. Huh? Is this pick recent or... Actually, that one's from three, four years ago. You look exactly the same. I'm only 27. What, what do you expect? That's why they say kids are the ones that get old. I thought it was recent because you don't act, you don't you just see people displaying pictures of their exes so openly. Let alone on, uh, let alone print it, a printed one on and framed. Let alone a printed and framed one. Do you two break up on good terms then? You, you even hesitated a bit when you called her your, your ex. <sighs> Let's just say that everything ended with both of us saying mean things. And me storming out of her house, breaking a couple of things on the way out. We never broke up formally, and I guess I still have feelings for her. I just went away. I haven't said a word since. Really? It's hard to picture you doing such a thing, and you look so happy in the pic. Why have her pick out like this then? I just couldn't get my mind off something that Alma said to me. Oh, well, missing having the warmth of someone else pressing against your side. Using them as a pillow, mixing your perfume with theirs. Putting your head on their chest, listening to their breathing as they pet your head. Dozing off, knowing they're there watching you, protecting you. I don't know. I felt nostalgic. Then miserable. I'll just put this away. Awkward. I haven't mean to apologize, but I felt like it's too late now. I feel like it's too late. Whenever I go out, there's just this fear in the back of my head that I'll meet her in the street. I just don't know if I could face her again, let alone talk to her. I'd be a mess. It's never too late to apologize, Jill. Maybe. Hmm? What's that on the table? Looks like an env- It's nothing. Nothing. Now, please give that to me. Uh, alright. I saw nothing. Don't worry. Anyway, um, let's grab some beers. Guide me. Weird. See, this is what I expected. Shy Spark out at 5011! Kira Mickey! You shingle. Beer so far, none. Cans left, 12. Remaining beer, 100%. Good. Wait, settings. Oh, okay. Well, the BTC gives me discounts and a point. Uh, and a. What? And a point card every time I use. Every time I buy their alcohol. I like this. This is so nice. With that, beer is, the, beer is actually the cheapest drink I can get. Is there any difference between the drinks at the bar and these? The drinks at the bar are more addictive, flavorful, and also stronger than the ones you'll sell in stores. And besides, the one in the bar is more of a double IPA. IPA? IPA? I don't know. This one is more of a Pilsner. In English, please. This one's lighter in color and lighter in flavor. Hmm. No, no. Does taste like that? Does taste lighter to me? Do I just click drink? <sighs> drink.
Remain beard, 80%. Well, how come I don't have that the thing for here? What's going on there? I don't know what's going on. Is this one made with that, um... What was the name of that base liquid you use at the bar again? Neutrogenic Dichematrisil La La Lidingol? Or NDL? What? Huh? It was a supplement or something, right? It was an experimental fluid they created to replace water when the maiden's ki kiss polluted the water supplies. Oh. The effects of pollution turned out to be temporary, so NDL never went into mass production. But the BTC still commissioned it for use in bars. And this one is made with it? Let's see... Yep, here it is, near the end. NDL and cornstarch. Gotta love some good old cornstarch. But I'll have some seltzer water instead. Where is the thing for the heat? Poppy! Hey, Keanu! What are you doing down there? What are you doing? You want up? Yeah? Oh, Miss Puppy, you want up? Yeah. I turned around and she was right there, right behind one of the wheels of my chair. So I'm like, oh, I did not almost pinch her tail, but no! I was like, nope. She looked up and was like, no, I'm gonna turn around now. No, I don't want to be picked up and sit on your lap. Do that later. There's a cat over there and he might take my snacks. Cornstarch? It serves as a stabilizer, if I remember correctly. They need it for packaged drinks. Ah, I see. And I just realized something. What? You're a nerd, Jill. Guilty as charged. I still have that bottle of rum somewhere around. Do you want some of it? Will you have some too? Not really, no. Then leave it like that. I'm not letting you drink beer alone. That's not how drinking with friends works. Do you consider me a friend of boss? Uh, you, 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 you could just, just being friend? Drink! Why wouldn't I? Don't know. Or with being my boss and all, I was never too sure. Well, in that case, if you had any doubts, yes, I consider you one of my best, one of my best friends. Besides, you and Gil are always so diligent and responsible that I'm, I'm boss in name only anyway. That's good to know. On a side note, it surprised me that you kept that poster of me in the, in the room. Any more that you hung it in plain sight. When I gave it to you, it was more or less a joke, you know? Does it make you uncomfortable? If it doesn't make you uncomfortable, why would it make me uncomfortable? It's my own face. I'm still wondering why I did it though. Aside from feeling an empty spot on the wall, I, I don't really know. I thought it was funny too. DRINK! Oh, I do do the drinky when I click drink. Oh, so this is remaining beer in the can that I have. Okay. I guess it's like if someone gave you, I don't know, a dildo shaped trophy or something and you had it there as a conversation starter. Well, I, um, Honeycam Studio was a thing, and I did get the, I did get the, uh, best trophy you could possibly get. 
and crushed it. I mean, yeah, there's that. You can also... Although no one comes here anyway, so it's kind of pointless. Drink! What? No steamy nights of passion? Not since a year ago, I think. And I'd rather not talk about what happened then. Drink! Did someone hurt you? <clears throat> did someone hurt you? Because if it did, I can go dish out the paint. Open! Yeah, it is! Oh, that's great. No, nothing of the sort. A different kind of mess. Uncomfortable mess. And uh, not being able to have sex for reasons mess. Glad to know you have my back, though. Drink! That's what, f <clears throat> that's what friends are for. Wait, you talk about the poster and compare it to having a dildo-shaped trophy? Drink! <laughs> Did you just call me a dildo face? That's what friends are for. Hey boss, to be honest with me here. About what? Drink! <laughs> I'm just gonna like I'm gonna try to have a drink every time it's 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 Dana's turn. Whose skill exactly? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Who the fuck is he? Drink? Oh yeah, that. Well, well, I have a couple of ideas. I know for certain that Gil was in the Hong Kong riots. Frank. And he took part in that anti riot force before defecting. That should give me a clue as to who he is, but. But. Open. So far, I've only found out about one such defector, and he didn't leave Hong Kong for, for at least four years. Drink. I also know for certain that Gil was in England and France during that time frame. And it was always like that when I think I have a clue as to who he is. Something else comes up that contradicts the evidence. That was it because the cat was late? That guy's troublesome. We can drink to that. A bit, yeah. <sighs> I wonder if Gil's alright. You worried about him? You make it sound like I'm some emotionless robot. He, you can be hard to read. I wouldn't worry about Gil so much though. There's three things I know for certain about him. Drink. First, he can take care of himself. Second, you can sincerely trust him. And third. He absolutely hates Bell Pepper. He, he does? Drink? I've seen him reject food that has been in contact with it. Man, what a baby. Unless he's allergic or something. I don't know. He's not. Man, what a baby. How did you meet such a guy? He showed up in the door in front of the bar. He showed up in the door of the bar. He... what? Drink? Well, it was surely after the whole incident with Robert and the levitation potion. Right. Uh, levitation potion. It was a slow day and he just showed up at the bar. I offered him a drink, but he said he didn't have money on him. Drink? I <laughs> couldn't leave him alone, so I pretty much gave him the drinks for free. And after a couple, he broke down crying. The... Huh? Drink? 
I don't know what he did, but he was really, really getting it, regretting it. He wanted a second chance or whatever, and I told him I, if he... He wanted a second chance or whatever, and I told him if he could wash himself, I'd find him a job. And I'll be damned, he looked totally different the next day. Damn. Dream. I tried and failed to find out anything about him. So I decided to take him at face value. I judged him from what he from what he did as an employee. And aside from the occasional sudden escapade, he's been as loyal as loyal gets. I returned the favor in kind, covering his ass from time to time, sometimes literally. Drink? What surprises me is that you took him so easily. I could take care of myself, and I always kept an eye on him. And besides, after the whole Robert thing, I couldn't ignore someone that's that desperately. <sniffs> I was reading that sentence wrong in my head and gonna add some more words. Like, that's not. Yeah, words. I couldn't ignore someone that desperate so easily. You see. You've made the bar more lively yourself, you know? How so? Drink? Well... With the regulars you've earned, of course. Like that blonde TD hacker. I can't remember her name. You can't remember Alma? She does have quite the babbage. Alma? I was gonna say Armitage. That's a different movie. Are we, are we talking about Poly Matrix or Dual Matrix? You can tell me. You can tell me. Well, she's hot. I'll give her that much. She's also a nice person in general. Damn, she's hot. Are you alright, Jill? Drink! Yeah, why? It's... Weird to see you say so openly that someone's hot. What? Even you can see she has a hot body, boss. Boss, you can see that she has a hot body. I mean, have you seen her? Have you seen her? She's a pretty lady! You'll find no objections here. I mean, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought about taking her to a room and... ...and drink. Jill, you sure you aren't drunk? I am. I mean, I'm sure I'm not. I... I mean... Um... <clears throat> Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know how long this is gonna be, so I was like, how many should I have? I don't know. But though the, those are thoughts I leave to myself. I don't think I could handle her in a relationship. She has weird standards. That and she's as straight as straight gets. She's still a lovely person, though. That she became a regular is a blessing. Any right. <clears throat> Anytime you go through puberty is a blessing. Any regular is a blessing when you get down to it. There's also that sex worker robot girl. <gasps> you mean Dorothy, Drake. <sighs> Dorothy. She intrigues me though. I've seen lots of sex workers over the years and she seems pretty kitty. It's not like that she likes her job, but rather she takes it, she takes to it with a, such, she takes to it with such childish. Okay, words work. I need, I need drink up. And start that line over. It's not that she likes her job, 
but rather she takes it to it with such childish excitement. Close enough. I've kind of noticed that too, but then again, Lilum can be weird. You think? Drink? Lilum operate in some really foreign logic. I mean, they don't really share our fear of mortality. Even if their bodies are destroyed, their minds are already backed up in the collective source. If they lose an arm, they can reattach it or replace it. Depending on the circumstances, they might not even feel the pain at all. It's not like they haven't attained human-like emotions like fear or love, but they are different. Excuse me. Like a different culture, if you must. Hmm. I didn't see it that way. Aside from that, Dorothy has a DFC-72. It's a social interactions model or something. Let them get positive reinforcement straight from their bodies if they're fulfilling their, me their main purpose, so... I'm guessing she gets a built-in push whenever she gets a meaningful or challenging social interaction. Interesting. Drink. The name Lilum is a bit weird, though. It is? You'd expect them to be called bots or dolls, but Lilum doesn't convey the image of automatons. Just a tip. Um, bots and dolls are considered slurs by them. Bot is akin to call calling them a, re a retard, and doll is like calling them fake. Thanks for the advice. Some good knowledge share. You don't want to offend them. That aside, do you know why they're called Lilum? As far, <clears throat> as far as I know, because they all come from a bigger AI called Lilith. And Lilum are Lilith's offspring in the Jewish folklore. Cool! Hey, speak of names, why don't you like being called by your full name? I have no idea what you're talking about. Open. Drink. Don't act stupid. Back when you first transferred, I called you Julian. And you almost tore me a new one with your glare. See? Like that. It's no big secret, but it's one of those things that feels silly when you say it out loud. Try me. Well... Did you ever watch Model Warrior Julian? Not all of it, but my little sister is a big fan of reruns. Back when I was in elementary school, I was a huge fan of the show. I had everything from the dolls, to the costumes, to, to the lunchboxes. It didn't help that it was one of those shows that got strapped literally everywhere. Drink. I saw a couple of episodes once. They were really nice. It was beyond nice. The show is about a model who can transform into an armor-clad magic knight. She fights Stephen Bourne from greed and vanity. How the show presented Jules hating her job because it invited enemies, and yet still found solace in trying to be a role model? Hell, the main character wasn't a kid. Julia was an adult that became younger when she transformed. I say it was a pretty ambitious kid show. Even by today's standards. Just the fact that her enemies were literally issues dealing with beauty standards of body image. Challenging as fuck. <laughs> Whoa, you got excited there. Drink. And that's the problem. Back then, I was obsessed with Jules. I sang the songs, dressed like her. I would even recite the full chapters. Something tells me you still can't. That's besides the point. It was nice while I was in elementary school, but then I went to uh, to middle school. 
And what a surprise! Twins are jackasses. Dream. They went out of their way to tease me about things I did back then. I don't hold it against I don't hold it against Jules. I always hold my grudges against those fuck jobs. Sounds rough. You know how most girls worry about their thighs at that age? I worried about my jackass scene. <laughs> I worried about jerkasses singing the theme tune of the show to mock me. Anyways, every time someone calls me Julian or Jules, I instinctively react negatively. Aw, drink. Pavlov would, would be proud of me. I never talk about it because I find the whole thing too silly in retrospect. And yet it affects you even today. There's nothing wrong with it though. It's actually kind of reasonable. Uh, I mean... I mean, you were bullied as fuck for enjoying a show. Mr. Tenchi, come here. Come here. Oh, Tenchi. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. Mr. Tenchi. Oh, Mr. Tenchi. Hi, Mr. Tenchi. How you doing? What's up? No, you can't have that. What do you want? What? What's up? What? You want on the bed again? No? Is that it? Wanna stay up there? You're not comfy here. Hmm? What? Can I get a nudge? Nudge? I nudge you. I mark you. How's that? Huh? Aww. What are you doing in the cause? You need to scratch on the scratching post more. That way you can clean up your claws. That one don't look so good. Ready? Ow! Don't dig in! He just dug into my arm! No, don't grab my pants. There you go, big guy. You good? Yeah, you're good. He is a good kitty. I sure hope so. Come to th Hey, don't claw a bit. Don't claw. Come to think of it. What kind of kid were you, boss? When I was a toddler, I was the kind that to always fight with a... <laughs> oh my god. I was the kind to always fight with the kids bigger than me. Then puberty happened and I became the Merriam-Webster definition of shallow jerkwad. Open. Drink. Tell me more. Around the time I turned 16, I realized what an idiot I was and went to become who I am today. And the less I talk about those years from 12 to 15, the better. Fair enough. Say, boss. How do you like the men? <laughs> 2D. <laughs> 2D is all... It's, it's, it's an uncontested fact among people. 2D is better than 3D. 3D, whatever. 2D, that's where it's at. Oh, that's great. And it's funny, that reminds me, I was on, I uh, looked through Steam earlier today, see what kind of releases were out, if anything that I had on my things was like on sale at a good sale and whatnot, and things that I shouldn't be looking at because then my wall starts yelling at me. What? That, that just reminds me, like, there is now a uh, a male, uh, a, a reverse harem? A male harem? Yeah, there's a male harem version of Nekopara. It's like, what? Huh? Hold on. Huh? Like, yeah, they're all cat men. Or cat boys. However the term is used. They are not cat girls, and instead, of, and the patissier is a girl this time. So it's like, ooh, reverse harem it is. All right. I'm like, I think I'm good. <laughs> I 
think I'm good on that one. I had a drink. 2D? Yes, I don't mind anything as long as it's, you know, cute or 2D. How about you? Wait, wait, wait. I don't mind anything as long as that... As that thing is cute. Or 2D. That thing. Oh boy. Um... Back in high school, I liked them funny. In college, I liked them successful. After a while, I just wanted them stable, and now... And now? I... Don't know. Drink! I stopped caring about them being funny. My high school boyfriend started... Conflating? Conflating? What is that word even? Conflat? I don't know. Cheering me up with, uh, cheering me up with mocking me when I'm down. Wait. Started conflagrate. Started conf conflating, cheering me up with mocking me when I'm down. So he brought you up, but brought you down when you were already down? Or... I need a dictionary. I'm not gonna go on Google again, because I already Google one once. Someone else can tell me what it is. And that serves interaction. INTERACT, YOU! No, oh, seriously, interact. That's the whole point of stream and entertainment. It's not like, you know, turning on the TV, putting on a show, or, you know, streaming something on Netflix or whatever. It's, no. No. I also stopped ca caring about them being successful. I realized half the time they had no qualms about cheating with me or pawn me. And I stopped caring about them being stable. I realized they were the kind of person I was trying not to become. Not become stable? There was this guy who became so obsessed with holding a stable job that he hated. He started being physically ill. Not only that, the last time I managed to get some, I ended up throwing out the guy. You, you ended up throwing the guy out? Wow. I mean... Sounds like things just went unhealthy, so I was like, there you go. And that's... Terrible. You need a drink. He took to incredible offense with how I smoked on the bed after sex. The bed could catch fire, you know? And did he have a problem with you smoking at all, or was it just that? I mean, if anything, you know, it's also your apartment. I don't know. I'm not a smoking fan. I don't like to be around people who smoke when they're smoking. It feels like I'm joking. I cannot stand it, so I just remove myself from the environment. And I just, you know, I politely let the person know, I was like, hey, uh, I see you're gonna be doing that. I'm gonna step out because this. So that was like, you know, they can do their thing while I, while we just wait. Now I'm gonna take a drink. Psh. Not you too. I kind of envy Alma for that. At least when she dumps a guy, it's for less petty reasons. <sighs> Are you okay? I'm fine, it's just... It all boils down to the fact that I can't get my mind off Lenora lately. She was... She was all of what I just said. She made me laugh, she had a good position, and was stable. She was also smart, caring, and why I can't get my mind off the whole thing. It's... It's maddening. Maybe I should go and apologize? Maybe I should. Maybe that will make me rest easier at night. Get my mind off things for a while. 
I don't even care about going back to her, but... But... Ugh! Hey, Jill. Have you tried thinking about clothes for four? Clothes for... <laughs> Listen, I know how you must feel. But you can't let all of that cloud your senses. Next time you feel overwhelmed by those thoughts, try distracting yourself. Like with, say... Thinking of what kind of clothes you could put on four. Yeah. You know, boss, I'm a bit curious about your, your circle of friends. What kind of people do you have in it? Keep in mind you're included in that circle, too. So any insults you hurl will apply right... Will apply... Will apply right back at you. Anyways, I have this friend I've known for a long time. A red-headed, glasses-wearing gun nut called Iris. Sounds familiar, right? Pretty sure we met someone like that. The one you called for the helmet thing? That one. She's managing a BTC bar in Panama right now, if I remember correctly. She's managing a bar too? I got the idea from her, actually. Oh. It's actually called Nir Nirvana. And if you thought this city was dangerous. There's... There's a sequel! Ooh! I need a drink. That's, in the, that's the next game in, in this type of world. But it's not done yet. You should see the people she has to deal with there. Pricey ain't nothing to fuck with. Oh, pr pricey. Piracy. Yeah, you don't want to mess with that. And means it's an annex to another business. What else does she do there? I think the bar was originally her hotel's bar. She moved the bar to its own building near... Uh, building... <laughs> she moved the bar to its own building elsewhere and opened Nirv Nirvana... Nirvana B. Nirvana B? Nirvana B? I don't like that. In the hotel instead. Weird decision. I believe she wanted a place away from the noisy rich tourists that go to the hotel. So, that, uh, that bar is her woman cave. Woman cave. Drink. I'm sorry I'm stuttering so much reading this. It's like, some things is like, what? And my brain's like, mm, I don't know. Also, I don't know. Just casually having fun. That aside, let's see. Friends. Friends. Oh, I guess there's also my little sister, but that's a given. Oh, there's also my old partner from when I was with the Neo San Francisco police. You... You were in Neo SF's police force? Really? Do you happen to know a certain young woman with white hair, red eyes? Do you know who that is? It is Lexi! Oh my god, are you her ex? Are you the ex? Is this the ex that we learned about? from Lexi? That she wasn't sure? Oh my god. Could she? I'm really curious. Or is, she, or is Dan or, or is Donna the sister of Lexi's ex? Oh, I really want to know. Wait, no, that ain't right. No, 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 I'm running it wrong. 
it's the protagonist that we played in Read Only Memories. His sister was Lexi's girlfriend, and that's why Lexi and, and the protagonist were were already acquainted and things were like you know smoother and they got along very famously and they they already had a history and it's all been explained in there and you haven't seen it just go check out the vod playlist of read all the memories you can do that oh my god are you our sister good old lexi i should give her a call sometime Wait, you were in the what? I've done a lot of things, Gil. I spent a short time collaborating with the police force. I've been a wrestler and an MMA fighter. Chimney clean- Chimney. Chimney cleaner, lumberjack, pet shop attendant, corporate mascot. Okay. Corporate what? Drink? I still see my face on some websites from time to time. Anyways, aside from you, Gil, my sis, Iris, and Lexi. Hmm. I can't believe she knows Lexi Rivers! Please tell me that you were her ex. I guess there's a lot of people that don't want to see me in, in harm's way. Mostly because they're the ones that want to hurt me. What about you? I guess I have acquaintances here and there. Back at home in college, I went out a lot. But it felt more like going out was the pleasure rather than the people involved. Aside from you and Gil, my closest friend since moving here is Alma or Oh, and uh, Dorothy. I mean, sure, there's always four, but that's Cat Hermit that refuses to go out. And, you know, he's a cat. You consider Dorothy friend? I uh, that you. Hey, a cat's fine too, you know? Hey, boss. What will you do when the bar closes? Drink. Oh my god, we're changing red. This is great. I don't know. Maybe I'll take a, a friend's offer of working with her. I was also thinking about going back home and helping with things there. Or maybe going traveling for a while. I see. Oh, but don't worry. The is slow as fuck, so they won't close the bar for quite a while. Better enjoy being there while you can. Yeah, maybe. Will you be visiting me in whatever bar I end up working in? I have a bone to pick with the guy that supervises the bar I'm planning to get you transferred to. I go even I go there even though I have virtually no reason to. With you there, I'd have something pleasant to look forward to. Um, you're sending me to someone you have problems with? If I have to trust another bar owner, it's certainly him. He's actually a pleasant boss from what I've seen. The fact that he and I have the tendency to go at each other's throats is an unrelated matter. I'll trust you on that one then. Don't worry. Maybe I can get you a bracelet made out of wood pieces from the bar's counter or something. Okay. Um, we'll see. Hey, I'll tell you what. When the bar closes, let's both take a vacation. Go on a trip! That'll clear your mind a bit. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Oh, what do you mean, yeah, maybe? Just, just, yes. Jill loves Donna. Like, 
just do it. Just go with, with, with your boss. Just go have fun. You can have a nice life too. So, I'm wondering. Can you go through the whole... S Does the scene change without having... Taken any drinks? Does the scene change... If you've... Drank the whole kit and caboodle? Chapter 2? There were chapters? <laughs> Amarga? Electricity bill we sent out on 24th. Make sure you have eight million dollars. Dharma. The fuck is a Dharma? Is oh, boss off the hoodie anyway. Oh. I need to back up my life. But. But. $8,000 for electricity? No. Daramaka? What is Daramaka? Oh, Darama. Darama cracked Darama. It's cracked. Why do you want this? A Japanese souvenir that has seen better days sells vintage cheap. Why do you want it? For free? You want it? I. But. I, I, I want to get the discount beer. She all bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. It looks okay. It does look cracked to me. $8,000 Rony Ruse. Oh. Let's look at the augmented eye then. Wrestling. My bo my boss may be curious. Four talks. Unless she's like thinking about like unless she's talking for four. But why is this covering my boss's face? I don't like that. GSF Tender 4th card now, 66 American Kid and Giant Yasuke headline. The blood feud between Giant Yusuke and 66 American Kid will reach its climax this January 4th at the annual GSF Dome event. But it's not the only match for the night. Other interesting bouts feature the feature great workers such as the Great DK and Aaron's. Full card below. 66 American Kid, 66 American Kid versus Giant Yusuke. Choose of championship. Red Comet Jr. versus Nagisa. The Women's Championship. Akito versus the Great DK. Nothing really worth mentioning otherwise. Then we have Roy Campbell versus Arendt. Ah. <sighs> Jack Bomb and Blaze versus Huli and Kara Colta Tag Team Championship with followed by Osuda versus Siegfried. Yeah, not to not all of them have things worth mentioning, but you're in for a good fight. Nano Camo is now making smart underwear. You just thought about looking up prices. Did not... No. Smart underwear. 
If underwear you can change with a voice command was something you really wanted in your life, NanoCamo has you covered! Already providing consumer versions of their advanced nano machine fabric, they plan to release a line of underwear that can change its look with a spoken word. No more stains in your white panties, just change its color to black and you will barely notice. That won't change the smell, though. They're not that advanced. We expect an increase in sales next year thanks to the innovative product. Uh, a PR representative told the Augmented Eye. I'm already using them. Super comfy, if you ask me. Well, thank you for telling me about your, uh, your, your panties there. Uh. Yes. Jesus. Just, just don't bother. Just don't bother. Just, just buy nano camel clothes. That's it. Just buy that. Just got the one thing on, and you're done. Psst. Danger Ruse admin has been arrested. Famous hacker Alice Rabbit graced the popular text board Dangeroo with a new threat, which resulted in the arrest of the site's admin, known as Fever, for a second time. We have no details to give other than that he was arrested as part of an ongoing investigation, Cybercrime Unit's Lisette Blanc told the Augmented Eye during a call. We are now busy tracking down the message that appeared yesterday. When inquired about the arrest, Furfur would only respond with a calm Not this shit again. Oh well. I mean Guess? Exciting? I don't know. Poor guy. Oh, is that the thing? Yeah. I guess let's go here. The board. Bank attacked. Media so quiet. Shame. Thanks to Anon. Laws been happening. Deep shit right there. Explosions being registered. Hmm. Names. Names. Hacker helping. <gasps> oh. A hacker is helping out hostages to escape. Uh, could that be Alma? Hmm. Will you read a file? Nah. I'm not gonna download anything weird. Let's see if the file is available from. That's many of sources. I don't know. Too many mirrors. I'm gonna save. I'm not gonna go through the whole. I'm not gonna go through day six like crazy. Alright, you know, let's just go to work. Enjoy what time we have left to bar. Can I. Oh no. If I knew. If. If I knew I needed eight grand. I don't think I would about turn. I really don't think so. Ooh, instant ramen. Give Gil. Oh, hey guys. How the hell did you get in? I have a copy of the key. Remember? Uh, wait. That's how it gripped me after so many days. I never doubted you'd be fine. If anything, I'd have to cut your paycheck for leaving for so many days without notice. I mean, fair is fair, you know. I have cat fuzz everywhere. See, Jill, 
He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. Wait, why does he have a copy of the key and I don't? The need for you having a key never grows. True. Anyway, glad you find Gil. Thanks, I guess. Where well, are you gonna make me watch? What? Are you gonna make me watch the bathrooms again? Not today. Listen, I don't know who the hell you really are or, or what's trying to come back to bite you in the ass. But remember, there are people that actually care about you. Don't just leave like you did. Especially after all hell broke loose, at least give us some sign that you're still alive. So you're worried. Isn't that normal? When it comes to you, I don't know. <laughs> Shut up. She's right, though. You shouldn't make ladies worry so much. Check if the cats didn't move the internet antenna, would you? Fine, fine. Hey, boss. Why did you leave the hoodie at my place? Because it's yours? Hey, 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 hey. No. No. Pay attention. Stop clock. Don't clock that. That. Yes, I can boop your snoop. No, 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 no. Uh, I think he needs out. Yeah, alright. Go on. The second he went, the sec, the second he went for the second time, to start pulling on the the bed sheets and start making holes in things some more, he just went rub rubbed up against the door, and then he's like, yeah, okay, and he's like, yep, that's what I wanted, but I told you you could keep it. Sorry, I. <laughs> I couldn't find it in myself to take it. Why? Probably because it didn't feel right taking it. But mostly because I thought you'd totally look cute with it. I... I... See... Don't think I'm rejecting a gift of yours, it's just... Preserving cuteness is one of my principles. R right. Thanks, boss. I love that you have an Agejo. Are you still worried about the whole bar closure thing? Of course I am. Not like I can't work because of it, but you know. All we can do... Mm, all we can do is enjoy whatever time we have left here as best we can. Yeah. So cheer up. Clients smell sadness and fear, and we don't want that. I'll go to my office. Okay. Antenna's fine. Did I miss anything? Not really. No. Anyways, let's start today. Hmm. Seems like there's a few less... Uh, questionables. I'm gonna leave the last three. No? Okay. Oh! Neat. Let's see. Uh, I'll just get pick it random here. New avatar. Where do we have new avatar? You know, you know, that's still all white. Where, can I get some more tracks here? Yeah, let's see. Uh, not uh, Snowfall? Can I try that one? Oh, Star Pieces of the Dark? I don't remember this one. Oh, I'll take I'll take it. Revelation, no. What in dream? Ah, this one's okay. Titans, no. Orbit, no. 
All time. Got showtime tense. No, I don't want it. I'll take this one, and I'll take you know I'll I'll, I'll take the underground club because we're cool and hip like that maybe. Uh, uh we're gonna have two in there. I'll take that one, and welcome. Yeah, here we go. That's our jukebox. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh yeah, Kill? Hmm. Glad to see you're fine. I mean it. Thanks. Oh, uh... You're with the BTC. Excuse me. I'm looking for Donna Zane. May I have your name? Tell it's Brian. Just a sec. Boss! Some Brian guy is looking for you. Tell him I'll be there in a bit. She'll, um... Uh, you heard her. It's alright, I'll wait. It's weird for someone to come asking for her, though. It's not so weird when you're the BTC's regional manager in these parts. Yeah, I guess that's... Um... I guess I didn't give you the best first impression. <laughs> yeah, duh. Don't worry. I know who I am dealing with, so, uh, I'm good. I'm not a fan of people treating me too nicely because of my position anyways. Handle me just like any other client. Uh, Alright, I can do that. What can I get you, Mr. Brian? Let's go with the basics. A sugar rush, please. Coming right up. He wants a sugar rush. We can do that. Sugar rush. It's two. And one. Boink. And yeah, it's not it's not anything else. Three, four, boink. Here. Yeah, this one's nice. Back in training, they made a big deal out of sugar rushes. Why? They like the fried eggs of mixing drinks. They're the most basic thing, but people can still mess them up. Sugar rushes are simple enough that you only need to follow the instructions. If you can't even do that, your future as a bartender is not bright. Huh. They never told me that. You're Jill, right? Yep, that's me. Donna's talked quite a bit about you. Really? And I guess you must have a few questions for me, am I right? Mostly concerning the closure warning Valhalla got. Can you disclose any any information? I shouldn't, but you have the right to know. Thanks. Don't mention it. Now where to start. You saw the news on the information leaked during the Apollo Trust Bank incident, right? About the White Knights having lost members from criminal... About the White Knights having lots of members from crimin criminal organizations in the ranks? Turns out the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of those same folks have been trying to elude legal problems using BTC's c certified bars. Are you saying that Gil's one of those e one of those people eluding legal problems using a BTC certified bar, which this is? <laughs> the BTC bars have their own protocols, meaning the White Knights can't dig too deeply. At least, not without getting through a ton of paperwork first, giving the criminals time to cover the tracks. Although it takes a bit of time to set up. It has apparently proven an effective method for money laundering. Where does Valhalla come in? Young bars are the ones under the radar right now. 
and the modest to low income ones are primary are the primary suspects. It's not just Valhalla. Any small bar or small income is being investigated heavily right now. So the closure notice is due to low sales. Among the reasons a bar can get axed, low sales is the rarest one. If low sales were a problem, lots of bars could, you know, close every year. You'll find out soon enough, huh? Sorry. Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. Seems your guess was spot on, Gil. Hmm? If it helps, I'm doing my best to appeal, to appeal in your place. Really? Why? Most of Glitch City's bars are in a pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemical damage or shady drinks. This is one of the few places which I almost never receive complaints. The closest thing to a recent complaint was from uh, that whole Farmer Fabrics affair from a while ago. So much saliva. I wouldn't get my hopes up though. Especially since the BTC will try to save face by asking as many as suspects as possible. Knowing you're making an effort is enough. Thanks. Can I get you anything else? Now that I remember, the rest of the book has a drink created here, right? What? Oh yeah, the suplex. Give me one of those, please. Sure. We created the suplex? Huh. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't know that we had a custom drink in house. All the rocks. So, but I get commission. Do I just make it big to double it up? I don't think so. I. I shouldn't. He's the guy with the BTC, so I'm not gonna make. I'm not gonna fuck it up. So I could just. I guess I could just give big drinks. And where's Mr. Donovan? Here. The registry form said that this was an accident while making the pile driver. You can ask the creator of the drink over the, just over there. Ah, so you're Robert. Yes, uh, that's my name. I'm Robert, the one and only. Damn it, Gil. Jill, uh, Jill called you Gil, though. Um, it's Argentinian slang. Robert here is from Argentina, so we call him Gil. Huh? I see. Yeah, that's totally not super fishy. Sorry, Brian, I was sorting some stuff at the office. Please come in. I'll be right there. Any other questions, Jill? Not really, no. Although, yeah. If you were to evaluate my performance right now, how would you rate me? Clean and timely delivery of correct orders. A top-notch bartender. Thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm surprised you haven't met him before. I received my training in another city. The regional supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. Oh, I see. I wonder what boss will talk to him, Brian about. Oh God, it's about Gil. Gil, why? You're gonna get this bar closed, you butthole. Stella! Um, Jill, was it? Ah, oh, Miss Stella, what a pleasure. Yeah, boy, Stella, where is Mr. Donovan? Are you okay? Yeah, um, just call me Stella. And give me a big beer, please. Huh? Sure, on it. Hmm. 
Um, she's not normally into the beers, let alone a big one. You're just gonna get at Mr. Donovan. Wait, am I doing this right? Yeah, wow. Yeah, I'm starting to put doubles and I'm just blanking out like, uh, how do you mix a drink? What goes in? I don't know what goes in it. So, let's see, she was with, she, was she with Say? No. Who was she with? I, I, wait, no. I think she was with Say. Yeah, she was. Uh-oh, they say hurt. Uh, are you sure you're fine? Um... You know, safe, right? Of course. What's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during the whole affair and... Oh. Right. That. So she... She didn't show up on the list of the massive body count in the aftermath, so... I was hoping that maybe you'd seen her. As much as I say I'd love... As much as I'd love to say that I had. Yeah, I figured as much. Man, you're suddenly... They're, they're suddenly a lot heavier. I mean, I could tell her everything will be alright, but... That would sound a bit condescending. <sighs> what does one, what does one do in this kind of situation? You bring up, you bring up so something else. Maybe relate to the incident, or be like, maybe she's looking for her helmet again, or or, or something. Maybe that's it. Maybe a joke. Ah, oh, that'd be tasteless. Talk about Say's helmet! We can talk about Say, and then we can talk about other stuff. We can talk about her glorious curling locks. Okay, just try and say anything. At the very least, you'll break the tension. Maybe distracting her will be enough. I don't know. I, I, I don't think clearly went under this kind of pressure, do I? Um. There was a private eye here in the. uh, here the other day. Sorry, uh, I'm a bit on edge. A private detective, I take it? Yeah, maybe you'll want his services? What's his name? I believe it was Art. Van... no. Vandalay? Oh, that Art guy! Yeah, I actually hired him yesterday to look for Say. So you still have hope? I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now. Yeah, no, I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. I see. Is he any good? He doesn't look like it, but he's quite skilled at gathering intel. I believe he'll give me answers about, say, whatever they might be. Say, you better be a girl. You better not be a renegade on the run. <sighs> Sometimes I wish I had magic. Uh, sometimes I wish I had a magic wand so I could solve all my problems with a swing, you know? Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. Oh, sorry. No, it's it's not about feeling uncomfortable. It's just... weird. I usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. And right now I can't find any words that don't sound hypocritical, useless, or tasteless. I'm glad to know that you, you have that much common sense, at least. All I can do is get you drinks. Can I get you anything else? Something sweet. That, that'll help me calm down a bit. Gladly. Alright. Flavor. Sweet drink. A Brantini. A Piano Woman. 
Cause then I can give so you're probably happy. Okay. Let's think about the drink. Sweet drink. Sweet classy happy. A lot of it's so that's happy. Moon blast, sweet girly happy. Are they all about the same thing? Sweet girly soft. Oh well maybe the blue fairy would be the one. That's soft. But something sweet. Hmm. You know what? Let, let's. We need. We need commission. I'm now. I, I'm now in. Uh. I'm thinking a hustler. H. Oh, I really hope. Otherwise, it's the other one. I really don't want to fuck this up. H. Mix. Here. Thanks. Seems you really... Seems you really like Say. I don't have brothers or sisters, and my social interactions are usually strictly business. So say it's more than a friend to me. She's... She's... I knew it! I knew they were a thing. Sorry I brought up that topic at, at, at a bad time. Uh, um, uh, don't worry about it. As I was saying, she's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. She's someone I can trust wholeheartedly. I'd say she's like my sister, but... Siblings usually lack that level of trust. I have to deal with high-class pricks every race and upbringing on a daily basis. Race? You, you do racing? They use a business mask to hide anything they don't want others to know, and I do the same. Oh, well, say I can be myself. I can do whatever I want and invent all my frustrations. He's always been there for me, and... Now she might need me, but here I am sitting in a bar making other people do that job because I'm so- I'm a useless pile of flesh! Sorry about the outburst. I'm actually kind of jealous of the level of self-control you're using here. I mean, I'd be a mess in that situation. Still, would you like some fresh air? I'm gonna take my break and um, you could use some. Well, for, for a given value of fresh. I'm fine, thanks. Okay then. Gil, please service Miss Stella while I take my break. Sure, leave it to me. Aww. Saving. I know it's safe to play. God damn it, it's really chilly outside. No. I'm ba- Uh, eh? What would a kid like you know about that, huh? I'm just giving you the facts as they are. What happened while I was gone? Let's see. Detective guy comes in, Kabuma girl greets him, and they start talking. Anyone who can't tell the girl mentioned uh, Zaibatsu Corp uh, offhand. After that, the guy riled up and started badmouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one. It, she just carried carried on like it was just a normal conversation. I see. Well, I won't deny that Zaibatsu Corp is anything but innocent. When you get down to it, it has the it, it has the. Yeah. It has enhanced the quality of life here. Yeah. But if by enhance, uh, you've been getting yanked by a shiny new chain around our necks. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no, I gave you the more nasal. Like, no, oh, you can't, you know. You can't see those big companies. Don't, can't, can't see that those big companies don't care about us. 
What do you think which city is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world? We just one big test group for them to use however they want. But then again, I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. True, I don't know. And true, I have a privilege that clouds my judgment. But you can't, but, but can you deny the meddling of Zaibatsu Corp has brought quite a few benefits? Like what? The AI integration program they started is making a huge... Is starting... Is, they started... Is, is, the thing that they did is making huge advancements in the AI department! Every day, more and more uh, countries are seeing the benefits of recognizing AIs as citizens. Good. I mean, that was the whole... That was... Uh, that was one of the deals that, um... That the whole story with Turing was l l going on about after we brought sentience to every single machine. And... yeah. Oh, what was the cat girl's name? Oh, what was the cat girl's name? Cause she dealt with the rights, the the legal rights of um. <sighs> Shit. I don't want to say mix. It's not mixed breed. So the the genetic the, the 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 people that that went that went through the genetic modifications to. To become a, a, a part animal for either, you know, medical reasons or personal preference. Hmm. I want to remember like the term that she used, but I don't remember. And who was that? Cause uh, it's uh it. She had one of the tracks in the OST is named right after her, and it's, uh, I believe it's a sonnet. Let's see, what are you? Read all my memories. Jess? Is it, was it Jess? Okay, here it is. Yeah, yeah, it is Jess. Because Jess is son Jess is Sonata. So I guess Jess is all is also tackling that on her on 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 her front. That's good. Yes, but we also hold an AI reformation program. You'd buy that for a dollar? What'd you buy? This dog? This bear? A drink? I don't know. Is that a scar? No, that's like a symbol. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Johnny, who's that? What's that? Who are you, you calling for? Who is that? Who's making a noise? Oh, Tenchi! It was a Tenchi! AI went rogue, transferred to a delivery drone, or ship it to Glitch City. That murderer is now delivering your pizza. Fair point. All that program has proven to have reformed many AIs. We're a prisoner? Is Dorothy a prisoner? Is she a felon? I think she's a sweetheart. They don't brag about their 88% success rate for nothing. Um... The city also has a stronger economy. Zypatsu's corp success has made more and more companies bring their products here. And that and the gap between classes continues to grow. More companies just means more people will plant their feet on your face. 
but it also means more products are being brought to, lo to, to the lower classes. Stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Um... You thumped it. I see you and your big eyes. You want... you want up? You want here? Yeah? You want here? Mette, come on! Come on! Come on, Miss Puppy! Oh, are you tired? Are you sleepy? Are you sleepy, Puppy? What do you want? You want your lamb chop? You want a penguin? What do you want? Yeah? You want that? Alright. What you want? Huh? Your lamb chop. Your lamb chop. Yeah? This is what she wants. This is what the puppy wants. The hypothesis group made medical research branches also made lots of discoveries. More and more illnesses previously thought incurable are being addressed every day. You hear that, puppy? The hypothesis corp is doing good stuff. It's amazing for those who can afford them. Meanwhile, down here, we're experiencing medicine shortage almost every month. You yeah, have a point there. Oh, but there are also more jobs. Um, all of the companies coming down here need personnel. So the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. More jobs? Shut up. Am I wrong? Well, that's... Hey, you. Don't just sit there. Give me a Zen star. Sure. We're gonna make a Zen We've never made this one. Four of each ingredient. Ah, no, I ruined it. Or maybe I made it better. One, two, three. Oh, this is a big drink. Sour promo and bland. So what's this? Uh, it's on the rocks, and it's mixed. Mm, I don't like the color at all. I don't think I would want to drink this. Here. God, this is awful. It's your order, though. I seriously hope that you, you don't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do. Why, why else would I say it? You do bring up some things I always fail to remember. All the benefits we've gained over time are limited are limited to a few. I could talk about advances all I want, but in the end, they're, they're still a luxury belonging only to a few. And even those can be accessed by everyone are more likely an improvement in the bigger picture. But don't take away the fact that uh, there, there have been positive changes. Credit where credit's due, don't you think? That's a pretty mature answer. Discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. The only people afraid of discussions are the ones who point out or, or whose points are too fragile to defend against someone. Yeah, mature, whatever. I'm gonna take it the chance to ask you about that job I gave you yesterday. I haven't been able to find much, but I can at least tell you that she wasn't at the bank when it opened up. What does that mean? Either she left before the whole ordeal started, or she managed to escape at some point before the whole thing ended. All the corpses are uh, accounted for. They only found one totally disfigured, but uh, witnesses identified it. It wasn't your friend, that much is for sure. I see. Did you call him here? No, he just happened to come here today. The weird part is that the girl did enter the bank. It's like she uh, vanished or something. I see. Thanks, keep it up. Your face brightened a bit. Hope is the last thing you lose, I guess. 
If he saw the truth, they might have found a way out. She's a resourceful girl. She, yeah, you know, she surely did something. I think I'll have another drink. Do you want anything? Me? Um, uh, just give me whatever you order. Two bad touches, please. <sighs> On it. Two bad touches. Better, <laughs> better make it before we laugh too hard. Okay. Some bad touch. Two, one, two, and four, two, three, four. Do I make them big? But then ask for big. Let's see. Rocks. Rocks. Mix. And serve. What? Jill always is here. What? I remember this uh, one party I went to. The guy came up. Came, the, the guy came up with the the name of this drink showed up. After people found that one out, they lined up to slap him for whatever reason. They didn't seem to offend. Uh, the, the, yeah. They didn't seem to offend to me though. Imagine a guy shows up and tells you, I made a classy bad touch. Wouldn't you line up to slap him? Um, are you okay, Joe? I'm... <laughs> I'm fine. I mean, um, now that I think about it, um, did you find that girl you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Vondelay? Turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl! Someone paid me to look for a crimson rose and she happened to be at the... Um... What? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for. Oh, well, you just spilled the beans, so uh, looks like you didn't avoid it at all. You didn't even try. No, don't worry. Besides, the last thing I'm worried about with say is people. Why is that? Her attitude is just so laid back and gentle that she has no problem getting on pe people on her side. On the off chance that she has to defend herself, well, I once saw her take a take care of a war pot gone haywire by herself. She did need medical help afterwards, but she recovered in no time and managed to take care of the bot! Is she really that good? She's not only really physically fit, she's also really good with a carved manga and... Something wrong? No, not nothing. I, I just realized uh, I forgot all about that. Say it's not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, she's she's resourceful. So, um, surely she found a way out. <sighs> I just hope she's well wherever the hell she is. She owes me an ice cream. Hell yeah. How, how dare a pretty lady make you worry, make me worry, make everyone worry. Right, puppy? How dare she? How dare she do that? I love Kyoto. She Kyoto is so cute. She's a cute baby puppy. A five-year-old puppy. You want another drink, Mr. Vandele? It's on me. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, order away. Okay then, um, I'll have a piano man. And you, Miss Stella. I'm fine. Get his order. Alright. Piano man. That's a good pricey drink. I'm gonna get a nice commission out of that. And one, two, three. 
rocks and mix. Which I know there's a drink that was on the rocks and aged, but I forgot what the heck that one was. Anyway, a PR man for Mr. Mr. Detective Boy here. Here. So this is what drinking something classy without worrying about the price feels like. All right, I should get going. My contact will arrive at the rendezvous point soon. I'll let you know if I find any, if I find anything else, Miss uh, Hoshi. Please do. All right then. You've been generous today. He made my night with his discoveries on on say situation. I'm not totally over it, but at least I got distracted for a bit. Well, that's it for me. Uh, good night, Miss Hoshi. Thanks again. Please come again. You don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? Why would I? It's not like you're asleep. Thanks. This place is soothing. Thank you. I'm very happy that you're having a great time at my bar. That's all I can ask of any patron. I'll just go sit over there near the arcades. Alright, that'll be all, Donna. Quite a mess, the situation with, um, Robert. What? Brian? What? Who are you? <clears throat> Uh, what kind of voice do I give Brian? Or, I mean, uh, Mr. Questionable. Mm. Brian. Brian? Brian. 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 Now I'm meeting in an hour with, uh, MI6 LC. Alright, mate. Oh, if it isn't Miss Hoshi herself. Brian, fancy meeting you here. I didn't expect to see you here of all places. Are you busy? Mind catching up for a bit? Sure, no problem. Oh no. Because Brian's investigating stuff with the BTC and the things evolving. Oh, that's gonna be a problem with Fortnite. What if Say got arrested? What if Say got arrested? Because she's doing it illegal, and that's why, and that's why, that's why Art can't find her. Oh, she is. Jill, we'll be sitting over here. Let me know if you need anything. We'll do. Um, this all phone is an old model, so hang up is a bit laggy. You can call me Cass, by the way. Cast like Cassidy or I don't know. Uh, um, Jill. S say, you guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. <laughs> She's not hurting anyone. And wouldn't you say it's more interesting that? <sighs> Finally, it hung up. Oh, it's been quite the day. At least the streets are calm today. Uh, have. <gasps> I'm gonna get. <coughs> oh god. It's a majestic call of fear. Oh no, it's. Oh no, no! Calm until now. Mm. And we meet again, bartender. You look winded, uh, Virgilio. It's pronounced uh, Virgilio. No. Virgilio? No. Oh, no. No, I'm pretty sure it's Virgil. Virgil. Really? Oh, I can't even say it anymore. Virgilio, you said that mu you said as much the last time you came. Pronunciations are a silly thing society imposes on letters. It's the foundation of language. Sound, the symbols, 
Combinations of such symbols with the sounds to convey meaning is language. I hate this guy. They want to be free. They want to be pronounced however they want. You look winded, Virgilio. We're all little toys winded by the cruel hand of fate. Just stumbling until it decides not to wind us anymore. And yet you're the only one in the vicinity hyperventilating. That's, um... I was jogging... Just like that? I can jog however I want. You were not. Yes, you can. What can I get you? Something fake. Of course. Something fake, huh? Why? <gasps> oh! Okay, so fake. Promo. I'm thinking promotional. Let's see. Grizzly Temple. Unbearable. Mostly for the fans of the movies. Bloomlight, Unnecessarily Brown. Mm, no, I won't be a Zen Star. Piano Man. Could be a Piano Man. Or a Piano Woman. Mm. No, that wouldn't imply anything. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Piano Man. Piano Man. And two, three, four, five. One, two, three. And it's on the rocks and mixed. Here you go. Now tell me why this is fake. Because I didn't even try? Your expectations of giving me a damn about the abstract order are fake. Um, bravo! Brilliant! Say, Virgilio, where do you work? I take the noble duties of curator at the Steampunk Museum. Really? What do you do? I study everything that comes and keep it clean for the people that visit the premises. But lately my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yeah. He told me, stop touching the exhibits. You're going to break them. The nerve of some people. Uh... He still fails to realize that I'm the curator there. Without me, all those machines would be rustier than they already are. Even the visitors get that I'm the one responsible for those. Why can't the owner realize that too? Yeah... I bet he treats you like the janitor or something like that. Exactly! Okay then. Time for your next challenge, bartender. Challenge, he says. I want purity. Purity. I can't give him pure ingredients, so... Purity, drink, or classy? Girly. Fluffy dream, moon blast. So why is it pure? Yeah. Sunshine cloud. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I think it's totally, yeah. I think he totally wants a sunshine cloud. Yeah. It's pure. I mean, what's purer than the sunshine? We're not blasting him to the moon. We don't have fluffy dreams. You can have, you can have pervy dreams. And it's all on the rocks. And blend. 
We haven't had too many blunt drinks, it's always, it's always been mixed. Please let this be right. How is this? Beer. It's a drink. It's free from any human sin. It can do no harm consciously. Consciously. Ah, yes. Beautiful. Oh, so it doesn't matter what I give him now? <sighs> hmm. Hey, you, the guy over there. Me? Yes, you. Have we met before? Can't remember. Maybe? Yeah, I think. No, 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 no. No, we haven't met ever at all. So you have met Gil. That's an interesting reaction. Uh, Jill, I'll be taking my leave now. Be careful out there. Thanks. Huh? Um. Excuse me, I haven't met somewhere before. That face. That eye. What about my eye, punk? We haven't met ever at all. Never. Ever, ever, ever. Good talking to you, bartender. Uh, um. Did you just scare off a client? Apparently. Well, I'm off. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Are we done here for the day? Yep, quite a few clients considering the whole situation. <laughs> oh shit, the Virgilio guy. So you two actually met before? Yeah, you could say that. What, what? Guilt stuff. <sighs> Don't mind it. What are we talking about, Brian? Yeah. Well. We're mostly catching up, to be honest. I hadn't seen him in a while. I offered him a drink when we last met. Excuse me. I talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. Oh! And I tried to um, explain the situation with Robert here. He agreed to help me out with that one with time, with when the time comes. Uh, oh. I was also tuning up the details for the new employee. New employee? A part-timer. You'll meet him tomorrow. You're hiring Seth when the bar is closing? I hope they know the bar is going to be closing. Oh. <coughs> hmm. Him. So it's a guy? An adorable guy. If I do say so myself. I suddenly have deja vu. Are you alright, Jill? Y yeah. It must be nothing. No mistakes. All right. Total earnings. We made twenty-one k. We made a lot of money. So let's see. No mistakes. We got a thirty percent. We got some nice monies. We got Goupe. Got. We made fantastic tips. Perfect service as always. Brian said to Brian, I. Nice. And we have 5k. Nice. So we got four days to make four grand. Oh, and apparently I already have what I want. So we're good. We're good. For I need I need some me time. Use the bathroom. God damn it, for Cool. All right. Boink. Hey, the boss didn't comment on my room when I used the nano camel. Oh, a new blog post from her. But we'll save all that for next time. Do you know? Some point here. 
So we're gonna end it off here. Thank you everybody for joining me and I hope you have a great night. Till next time, take care. Bye bye!